Mm. Okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, good morning. Welcome to a brand new stream called Composing in 2662. Scale references and getting started. This is part one. So today we set out to get started and we needed a scale reference. 2662 is a set of pentatonic five note parallel minor major scales that can be used to compose cool sounding melodies. We had a spreadsheet and a score sheet. And we had to go through and make sure they were in good order. And we did. So those are in good order. And here they are. This spreadsheet here shows us this 2662 scale in this quaint circular approach where the upper and lower notes are reflections of each other, which is the, uh, we have the minor scale 2-6 and the major scale 6-2, and they reflect, and we get a bunch of chords out of that. We then did a summary of what we found. We said, well, the minor scale has five notes in it and six extended chords. And we had to remind ourselves that an extended chord means uh, it's one of these things. One of these things. Uh, one, one, two, four, stuff like that. Traditional are three, 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 four, four, three, but extended are like this. So we said, oh, oh, oh that looks going to be interesting. And the major scale, because it's a mirror image, has the same situation, five notes and six chords. We then said, well, let's look at the full scale. Let's put all five notes from both minor and major together, and we get seven. Five plus five equals seven. That's music math. Three of which were extended, and uh, three of them are traditional. And we reminded ourselves that traditional means, again, up here. So, good. So we spent a fair amount of time on making sure those things were ready to go, and they are. <laughs> we had a few side trips along the way. One thing we did is we added to our chart that we've looked at in the past, we looked at chord consonances and um, if you may remember, a chord consonance can go anywhere from 0 to 3. Well, it actually goes from 1 to 3. A 1-1 one, one chord, which is uh, like C, C-sharp D. And then a 4 chord. And then we remembered that in the last stream, we had gotten into a bit of trouble because when we were trying to score energy on a piece of music, the more dissonant it is, the more energy there is. So we added a chart here where we just took the mirror image, so to speak, of rest energy or consonance to urge energy or dissonance. So the fact that the, uh, the lowest consonance you can get is a one, uh, that translates to um, a dissonance of two, and so forth and so on. And that's the 1-1 one, one chord as shown over here. So, on the opposite end, the highest consonants you can get is a 3, which is over here, and then that is zero dissonance, and it's no urge at all, relatively speaking. So that was a that was a interesting little side jaunt. We also reminded ourselves about all these we reviewed 
because it was part of under, remembering what the 2662 is about, is that there's different kinds of notes and chord functions and cadences and interval consonances, which we just discussed. I said, well, the bottom line is it's all about energy. So never mind what the detailed words are. Um, it's about energy. And we, we amused ourselves greatly by experimenting with putting colored headers in a spreadsheet and it's energy. So all's good. The 2662 scale is ready to use. Uh, chords are added and in good order. So that brought us to our uh, reference sheet. The second kind of reference sheet. The first was the spreadsheet and this is a score sheet and we were starting to think out loud of how are we going to approach composing this and we reminded ourselves that there are influences from the past well the trouble with the 2662 scale is we haven't composed in it before. We don't have any past influences. We have no memories of the 2662 or personal. The only thing that's remotely cultural is saying, well, it's a step away. Then we have influences from the present, which is we listen to it and compose and learn as we go. That's cool. And then as we do that, we'll be thinking about what feelings of movement or emotions or ideas suggest themselves. What are our intentions, which we haven't yet quite put down on paper. We know that there's pushing energy and pulling energy. We know that we have different people we're going to hear this. We can take a structured approach like we tried to do today. And if you were following us in the full broadcast, we were full broadcast. We were changing our mind left and right, which meant we are having kind of an unstructured free storming, brainstorming. And we know that we can use melodies, backbones, passing chords, cadence chords, rhythm, beats, timbres, lyrics, and as we said before, these spreadsheets and whatnot. So we did come up with some first thoughts for what to compose. Um, we did have a piece of music called Freshwater that we did last year using a 3663 scale. And we've been working on a different kind of a project about how people relate to each other. Uh, quantum jump relationships with others and it, we suddenly had this oh I wonder if we could have um, audible jumps in things from different modes one to the other and um, we actually had played the uh, where did we put it So this is um, the previous composition. So that has an audible jump between two modes. And then if we listen further, so now we added two other modes, kind of one up and one low, and then came back to the one in the middle. So you can, we can feel a kind of, um, if you will, a um, this model has somebody in the center and jumps in and out to these orbits and, and these red arrows indicate jumping back and forth. So quantum jumps in relationships could be our, an idea that we represent. We did represent it here in the 3663 cadence um, composition and we could certainly do that in the 2662. So 
to kind of leave on a, a thought where we're going to go next is we're going to start to play these notes and, and that's the point of having a score sheet. For example, we experiment with a very simple composition like this. And that's in the minor scale. The same structure in the major. And then we have the full set of notes here. So let's listen and then we'll call that a wrap. This is what we have to work with in our next stream as we start to try to use these, these design approaches and get our first thoughts from concept to, uh, to sounds. And, and we're going to be very much depending on our all this stuff that we've done before <laughs> and and in some sense doing a structured approach and sometimes an unstructured approach and using our listening and um, some things will certainly come up in our memory uh, they already have and, uh, and and see where we go from there so we'll play this and then we'll call it a wrap it'll be quick Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for your time and attention. And as always, keep on streaming.